skies with speckled with blue behind it. It's just gorgeous. and welcome back to another one of our videos on this video today we will be walking Bands Road you can see it down behind me down there or you can see it away up there behind me that way if you walk the Mourne Mountains at all then you will know this route because it takes you right into the heart of the Mourns and gives you lots of access to lots of different mountains if you haven't been to the Mourns before then consider this route because it does give you great access to lots of lovely mountains Sleeve Naglock North, we're going to be passing it on our right hand side. That gives you great views out over Binion and Lamagan, and of course Silent Valley. This takes you right up to Loch Shanna. We will be walking the shores of Loch Shanna very soon. But Doan, Ben Crom, and then out beyond that, Sleeve Burna, and you're not a hop skip and a jump away from uh, Sleeve Meal Moor, Sleeve Meal Beg, uh, Sleeve Loch Shanna, and then up on our left hand side, places like Carn and Muck, which gives you great views out over the Western Moors. So lots to be seen today. This is a great trail. Um, also, guess who's back? Back in black. Stephen's back. Can you be seen? I, yeah, I don't know. He could be. This thing isn't working, but yeah. <laughs> I can see the camera, so I think the camera can see me. <laughs> He's now sporting a beard, which is very interesting. Kind of wild man, rugged, outdoorsy person, you know? Although he works in an office now. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> thank you for clicking on the video today. Stay with us for the journey. And then, this is kind of how it went. supposed to be not too bad actually it's supposed to get quite cold tonight but it'll be grand so anyway today I am walking Bands Road The Bands Road isn't much more than an access road that leads you right into the heart of the Mourns, used by farmers and, and uh, the miners at one stage. Sleeve McLock there on your on your right hand side and crossed of course by the Mourn Wall. It's got great views out over Ben Crom Reservoir over the dam and right up into the High Mourns. It's got lots of different surfaces so at times it's quite simple and straightforward and then at other times it's, it's quite tough to walk on. Uh, with big boulders and lumps of stone. Burna, 
meal more, meal big, and corn all sort of create this lovely bowl for uh, Loch Shannon. It's absolutely gorgeous today. It's really windswept. What I would call a real Irishy day, you know, dark skies with speckled with blue behind it. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It is cold, that northerly wind keeps it cold, but it is um, just stunning. Look, can you see Verna just over the corner there? Isn't it so cool? It's awesome. It's such a great day. I can't wait. Um, I see people uh, camped up at the far end of Loch Shannon, which is quite a, quite a popular wee spot. I'm going to go up on the Carn tonight. I'm not sure I'll go with that uh, wind, but sure, we'll give it a go and uh, it should be fun anyway. Stay with me for the journey. So technically Bands Road finishes there on the shores of Loch Shannon. You skirt round the outside of the loch and cross this little river at the top end with this outlet from the loch. Now it was, it was fairly flowing the other day because there was lots of rain. And then you go up onto the uh, lower slopes of Doan and you get these stunning views back over the loch. Isn't that just beautiful? Now we're coming up to the saddle here between Carn and Sleeve Loch Shannon and Doan where those slopes meet and I'm moving right up to the wall here between Carn and Sleeve Loch Shannon and I'm heading up the wall onto the mountain itself. Beep beep sheep. And sod's law, I got soaked on the way up Carn. I had managed to keep dry the whole time so I had to put the tent up in the wet. And from the top of Carn, then you get great views of where we've been. We walk down the right hand side of the loch there, along the bottom under Doan, right up to Sleeve Loch Shanna. And there you can see right down Bands Road, Silent Valley in the distance, framed by Binion, and Sleeve Nook Loch south there, just in front of us. Well, that's me settled at the top of Carn. It's definitely an autumnal camp tonight. We're just about done with September, and uh, Temperature's already dropping away down. My fingers are freezing, my nose is cold. I've got the big downy jacket on, I've got the big woolly hat on, because it's freezing, freezing. So, a nice wee walk in. As you saw, Bands Road takes you from the Moyad Road right up to Loch Shanna. And as you skirt around Loch Shanna, uh, and the foothills, if you like, the, the bottom of Doan up to the, the uh, saddle between Sleeve Loch Shanna and Carn, you can get right up into Carn uh, and Sleeve Muck. Dead easy, it's really good. Um, but you see all the big mountains that are so accessible. Uh, you know, there's Doan, I suppose, and there's, and there's uh, uh, Ben Crom, but there's also Berna, uh, Sleeve Meal Beg, Sleeve Meal Moor. And then that gives you access to the Brandy Pad and Combina and, uh, and Donard. So, uh, Bands Road's a really nice access road into the middle of the Mourns, right into the heart of the mountains. Uh, I need my tea. I need something very warm. Uh, and I need a cup of coffee to wrap my hands out. Look, my hands have gone bright red. Oh, it's cold. Can't wait to get into my sleeping bag. Oh, ho, ho. That'd be nice. It's starting to get dark now too, now that the sun's gone. It's, uh, yeah, clouding over and getting dark. Tonight's weather is supposed to be blowy and blustery. We've definitely got a northwesterly going. It was northerly as I was coming up Bands Road. I was walking into the, into the wind. Now it's slightly turned and I'm getting a northwesterly. So on the top of Carn, there's a couple of the walls crisscross here. So I've um, positioned myself here and I'm, I'm a little bit sheltered. Don't know how that's going to work tonight, uh, late on, but there should be rain here tonight as well. So it'll be a proper autumn. Uh, 
mountain top <laughs> camp. So stay with me, it should be fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking on this wee video and joining us on this wee trip. If you like what you're watching, then press the subscribe button, join in the family, and then hit the bell for notifications on what we're getting up to. Well, that's me in the tent now, uh, all snuggled in and warm. Uh, I've just had my tea, and yes, it was a pot noodle, don't get snippy with me. Um, <laughs> it really is my guilty pleasure. It's not a very backwoodsman or uh, hiking and wild camping YouTuber, is it? It's, it's more like university student. <laughs> but it is my guilty pleasure. I, I really do love them, really do love them. Um, but now I have my, my coffee, my hand warmer, and I also have my Cadbury's Caramel. I've already had a few squares out of it because I really couldn't resist it after my, my pot noodle. And then for later on, we drop by the Irish, of course, uh, just to keep me warm. It's, it's medicinal reasons, you know, it's, um, it's thermal reasons. <laughs> um, yes, it's, uh, I, I have it for thermal uh, reasons tonight. Um, I can hear the, the rain starting again. Um, you might have seen me earlier on, I got caught in a big shower just coming up onto Carn. Uh, wet and very cold. That wind, as I said to you earlier on, is coming from the northwest now and it was blowing it right across the saddle. So, um, yeah, it's it's cold and it's wet, so I'm glad I'm in the tent. It's it's keeping me from the elements. And, and I seem to have positioned it quite well, because as you can hear, there's not much flapping around, um, so I must be in the lay of it. And yet I can hear the wind over the other side. I have my thermal trousers on tonight, uh, my uh, fleece-lined trousers. Uh, I just thought before I left today that it might be a good gamble, and I think it was right. Um, it's definitely keeping me warm. I have a pair of thermal socks with me tonight as well, and I think I might put those on in the sleeping bag uh, just to keep my, my feetsies warm. Um, so tomorrow, uh, the plan is to cross the saddle here uh, across from Carn onto Sleeve Muck, uh, cross the top of Sleeve Muck and down the wall off Sleeve Muck which then will uh, come to that wee style at, uh, uh, and join the Bands Road again. So I've kind of completed the loop. Uh, up uh, Bands Road, up to uh, Loch Shanna, around the base of Loch, around the Loch Shanna, um, up onto Carn, across onto Muck, uh, down the wall and join Bands Road again and, and, and out to the van. So it's a nice wee loop. Uh, as I said, and you might have heard me saying on, on the wee introduction bit of the video, um, uh, if you walk the Moor Mountains at all, you'll know Bands Road, but if you're visiting, really consider that as a really good route to get you into the, into the centre of the mountains, uh, right into the heart of the mountains uh, here, because you've got access to Berna and Mealmoor and Mealbeg and beyond that, Comeda and Donard, I think I said that earlier on too, um, but it really does give a, give a good access into that. So, not sure whether we'll get a sun, sunrise in the morning, 
we'll just have to wait and see and play that one by ear. I'm not sure what the clouds are going to do. Uh, they're supposed to be low enough, so we'll just have to play it by ear. Anyway, talk to you in the morning, eh? Night. So, I've been enjoying a run of really nice sleeps in the tent recently. Uh, and last night was not one of them. <laughs> I honestly don't know what it was. It was it was cold, and it still is cold. It's about three degrees at the minute. <clears throat> uh, it was windy, um, but that died, out, died down about midnight last night, so it it wasn't really the wind um, the clouds have come down uh, came down about well shortly after I got into the tent and have, have stayed down they're still here there's, there's no sunrise this morning in fact there's no mountains or anything outside at the minute it's just, it's just cloud a bank of cloud um, so I think it's partly to do with it, what it was I, I, I got into my head was the problem and uh, I couldn't get out. I don't have issues or never have had issues with, with solo wild camping. Um, but last night, for some reason, in the dark and in the cloud, I, all the fears and thoughts and stuff started to run around my head. And I couldn't rationalise it. I couldn't work it out. I couldn't get it sorted in my head. What ifs, what if, what if, what if. What if I get stuck up here? What if I, you know, uh, all, a whole load of, of things. Um, and I, for ages, for ages, I couldn't get it settled. I couldn't get that voice quieted in my head. So I got up, went for a pee, <laughs> came back, had a drink, um, finished off the Cadbury's caramel. Oh, that fixes everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wish. <laughs> uh, and settled down and, and read my book for another bit and, and watched a couple of videos and stuff. And eventually I was able to drift over to sleep and uh, got a bit of sleep last night so not not a great night in the tent but hey it happens I guess so this morning I'm going to get up get my breakfast and uh, get a big mug of coffee uh, something warm I can't wait to get my fleecy trousers on and my downy jacket because it is really cold this morning really cold I might double up on t-shirts and things because it's it's getting it's getting very wintry out there it's autumnal today but it's very wintry um and once that's done it's on to muck as i said and i'll just follow the wall down um on to bands road and from bands road then out to the myad road where the van's parked so uh pretty straightforward pretty uh pretty um pretty easy enough so uh yeah Stay with us for the journey. So, all packed up and ready to go. Uh, there was my wee spot from last night. Quite nice, really. But as you can see, all round, cloud, 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 cloud. Binion appears every now and again in the clouds, which is pretty cool. And uh, that's Sleeve Muck, and I'm heading over there too, but again, in the clouds. So, uh, yeah, I'm all set and ready to go. All packed up. It's got really cold. It's down to three degrees, but in the wind, it's down to minus one. So, um, I'll be... I'll be yeah, uh, glad to get moving because my wee fingers are bright red and my nose is feeling it and uh, the longer I stand around the colder I get. So I'm gonna get on, push on, get a good head of steam going uh, and I'll chat to you.
there we go, the top of muck. Uh, last time I was here with Stephen, it was very much like this. The time before that, I could actually get some nice views across the high morns. Not today. Western morns, out that way, nothing today. Usually you'd be looking at Pigeon and down over Spelga Dam and stuff like that. Not today. Uh, and Binion, I can't see it anymore. In fact, I can't see any mountains. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this wall now down. And this links up with Bounds Road. Uh, the issue is between me and Bounds Road, there's a very steep uh, decline, <laughs> a very steep way down off this mountain. So, um, yeah, I'll show you that now. Come with me. So here is that steep descent. Now, when Stephen and I were here, we found that contouring round and joining the wall on further down a bit is definitely the easier way down. Whoa. <laughs> don't joke, Alan, don't joke. It's very serious. Now look, now you can see it much better. There's the clouds have rolled back a wee bit and there is uh, muck running out to the edge and look down over the valley, out towards Knockery and out towards the sea. And there below it, is Barnes Road running the whole way up past Sleeve Glock South and there on the other side you can see a wee bit of Silent Valley but it runs the whole way up I'll move over here actually so you can see Loch Shanna because it runs right the whole way up as you saw last night me walking up to Loch Shanna and round Loch Shanna look you see so it comes right into the very heart there's Ben Crom Reservoir now showing that is splendid oh that's great just below the mountains Beautiful, beautiful. So, I met this guy, Darius, on uh, Muck. He's coming down the wall. I was coming down, he was going up. And uh, we were talking about the cloud and stuff. And he was saying that he went up on Dominion to try and get a sunrise this morning. Um, but he wasn't able to get it. But he thought to himself, oh, I'll come down a wee bit lower. Went on to a wee Binion and got the most amazing sunset pictures. Just beautiful. Beautiful golds, lovely autumnal colours. Gorgeous. I'm a little jealous now. <laughs> Anyway, listen, I'm on Bounds Road now and I'm heading back to the van. So we'll wrap it up here, I think. And uh, I hope that you're going to get out this week. Um, hiking, walking, hill walking, whatever you're going to do this week. Get out for a walk. Get your boots on. Go outside and go exploring and I'll see you again in the next one. 